Anyway, let's talk about some stuff that we got on here. Let me uh, throw down the React angle really fast. So first of all, two new no themes and one new Void theme. I love how we were talking about the possibility of this and it wound up happening. I have no idea if we're at the level where we can get a Void theme, but there you go. Here's one of the bigger things though. Check us out, added bounties. Players can now craft a bounty table. Bounties activated and will stay active until completed or abandoned. There is no penalty in taking time completing a bounty. Daily quests! <laughs> bounties can be completed over multiple vaults. Completing a bounty will result in a reward for the player currently an arena crate, but the model will be updated in the next patch. So temporary placeholder essentially. Uh, current configuration is hypothetical and may change drastically in the next couple of days. I was talking to Hellfire very briefly about this, and apparently the bounty table was something that has been in development for a while. It just wasn't able to hit for release date, basically. But it's been, like, on the cards for a, a good time. It's not just like a, ooh, we've done this in the last week off of some idea that we had kind of thing. So pretty cool. I'm excited to try this out. Uh, added a new game rule for accessibility purposes, allowing people to use waypoints inside the vault through a zero minimap mod. Game rule, vault, allow waypoints, true and false, default, false. So all you scared sons of bitches can toggle us on if you have a server, or even if you're just playing in single player, you can mark waypoints inside the vault and do all that if you don't want to have to, like, worry about running back, you're getting back home, that kind of thing. <laughs> Casual player... Easiest difficulty, game rule waypoints set to true. Giga Chad. Players can now place down vault gold, silver, bronze, and platinum on the floor to dec decorate with them. Actually, a pretty cool change. When we actually get like a uh, little bit more design in our base, I've got a few ideas of what I can do with this. Added a new Omega room. That's pretty pog. And added crafting recipes for every vault chest. They all require a scroll as their base. These are found inside the right type of chest at the Omega Rarity and will be consumed on craft. Different chests have different inventory size. I don't know what this means. Crafting recipes for every vault chest. I don't know what this means exactly. If you can decorate with them in your base? Or if it's like you can just basically craft a bonus chest for use inside of a vault through like a scav thing. <laughs> what game is better, Minecraft, Vault Hunters, or Fortnite? I don't know where you're going to add the combo in that one, Chief, but I added it for you. Return of Arena Crates from Season 2? Vault chests you can use in the overworld. Dang, it'd be cool if they worked like shulkers, where you could, like, pick them up and right-click in the air and they would have inventory in them. That'd be cool. Um, that's the first part of the notes, so pretty sick so far. Second image. There's a lot here. Changes and balance update. Slightly buffed living chest loot tables. This one kind of surprises me. I'm imagining that they're not necessarily just talking about, like, knowledge essence, because that was the main thing that you got from there. Um... Bounties are slightly bugged. I don't mean to backseat. it. I'm not even done through reading the patch notes, brother. <laughs> the, the update just went out, out an hour ago. Why are you telling me that they're bugged? Um. Well, damn. All right. Hey, Shimmer, do you know this thing is bugged, by the way? Uh, I know you haven't even, like, crafted it yourself, but did you know that this is bugged? Okay, dude. <laughs> um, Slightly buffed living chest loot tables. Again, I imagine this is maybe for, like... Rare, Epic, and Omega is a little bit better standing. I don't assume that they would give us even more knowledge of this than we currently already get, but I don't know. We'll have to run a vault to find out. Uh, adjusted Trinket Recipes to better adhere to current gem and vault diamond game. Interested to see what this is as well. I don't know if it related... Well, because... What was it? One Pog for a certain... What was it for? It was one Pog for some trinkets. That was the uh, Wendar Hourglass was a Pog. And then I think it was four Vault Diamonds for the Elvish Air, which seemed pretty cheap, so I'm imagining that they probably upped that a decent bit. Uh, changed all choice flask recipes to include an empty flask instead of an empty bottle. These are found instead of full choice flasks in Gilded Chests. So I guess you now need to find flasks. So this, I guess, is like a hybrid change of what they had before. 
Because before you needed to find the entire flask inside of a vault and it was RNG. But then they changed it to where you can just craft it from basically anything that you had. And now it's like a hybrid. You need the base, but you can craft the specific of it afterwards. I think it's fine. It's kind of like the regret nuggets in a way. You can craft them into a, a regret orb of regret. That's the third tier of it. But you need to actually find the regret nuggets inside of a vault in the first place. So yeah, kind of cool. Uh, updated several recipes, included a new Vaulterite recipe. Interested to see what this is. Adjusted the Mystery Egg reroll recipe. I think this was... I'll see what the adjustment for this is. Actually, I'm curious. Um... Oh. I like how it's a little bit more souls and essence now. Mm. Oh. Neat use of the regret chunk. Four vault essence, two of the eggs instead of four. A vault diamond and a perfect alexandrite. Interesting. So the the egg recipe before was four eggs of the same type and one alexandrite, and that was it. But now if you have two, you can reroll it immediately. And then from there, you can get a mystery hostile egg. Interesting. So that's kind of like... The cost of it's a little higher in terms of vault resources. But in terms of eggs, it's significantly cheaper. Like, you can get a lot more rerolls earlier on. Because needing four of the same egg, like, you probably had to roll a lot to be able to get one of those. Or get, like, pretty lucky in the process of it. Interesting. And then what's the uh, new recipe for the vaults writing it? Can I click through this? Yes, I can. Oh. There's two. So this takes care of the excess vault scrap that was kind of building up for everybody because we didn't have a good way to be able to spend it. So now you can just use chromatic iron vault scrap and netherite scrap. You don't need painites anymore? Fascinating. But you still have the option for painite. So what is painite useful for then? Red vault essence for vault trinkering, uh, trinketing, tinkering. And then perfect painite for repair cores. Interesting. Okay, I think I like that. I mean, it's good that so both recipes work. I mean, it, it seems like it. I would imagine that's probably not a bug. But yeah, there you go. Uh, new reason to dump out some excess vault scrap. That's cool. A little bit more crafting there. Better reason to scrap up the gear that you get as well, too. Okay. Uh, increase the cost for backpack and pouch recipes to better adhere to their power. I'm going to have to do a little bit of looking over this because my one unspent knowledge point is still here. They didn't do an unlearn thing. So I'll just try and make sure that I, like, am fair in this because I already have belts when I shouldn't have. So I think I need to spend... I think I need to spend one more, I'm pretty sure. Because I know I already dumped one out, but I have an additional one. I think it's like two more I need to. Um, either way. And other small adjustments. Increase the armor implicit range for Valkyr on in general on all tiers. I like this. I don't know what the values are, but that's cool. Lower durability rolls on vault armor. Existing modifiers are unaffected. This is also kind of expected considering how long armor was lasting generally, especially with repairs. And I guess especially now with the fact that Paynet's not the requirement for vault raid, repairs and repair cores are seeming to be pushed a little bit more on the serious end. Not like, oh, you get a piece of gear. And by the time that you are halfway through to breaking it, you probably already have a better one. So that's cool. Um, Lowered item rarity rolls on vault armor. Existing modifiers are unaffected. Okay. So the armor that we have right now is extremely valuable. Change the mob AI inside of vaults to give the player a slightly longer time to react when mob spawns. Experimental. This is probably the biggest change of the entire patch, I'd say. I'm really interested to see how this goes, because I wonder if, like, this means that if you're, like, jumping on an ambush spawner and a creeper spawns, that it won't charge up immediately? But this shit in general, I don't know, that's a pretty big gameplay switch. Uh, adjusted Afterlife now reduces any gained experience by 50% on completion slash survived, and resulting in 0% experience on death instead of removing the chance to find an artifact. This is the thing that I've been talking about for a bit. They finally pushed it. Pog, twice as many vaults now. <laughs> I was making the joke. I'm like, I can't wait until this update comes out because now I can run twice as many vaults as I normally would and have like half the progression speed. 
good for me. I, I'm actually kind of stoked on that, but I know it's not like the intended feature, but anyway. Um, adjusted the recipe for Mystical Powder, which is used to infuse Catalyst, and now costs Dreamstone and Vault Essence instead of Beniatite. So what is Benetite used for then now? Gemstone and Perfect Benetite. And the Gemstone's for the Benite Jewel. Adds farming. And then Perfect Benetite... So Benetite's only use at the moment is for the cores of Knowledge and Orb Frames and then a Relic Pedestal, which is a one-time craft. Well, I guess like a nine-time craft. Huh. I feel like that's going to make Benetite start amassing in people's storage. Because I don't know how many people are really going to be throwing down a ton of knowledge and ore frames. But maybe they will be. I don't know. Interesting. I didn't expect that they were, would remove a recipe when Benetite's already used for very minimal things. Hmm, I don't know. We'll find out as we go, I guess. Uh, lower default trap chance from 10% to 5%. This change unaffected. Uh, for a player's name, Captain Sparkles. Remove tipped arrows from being able to be rolled on villager trades. Expected. That was like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, or whatever that we were kind of told about that. Uh, remove modded items outcomes from villager trading. No more piping. And increase netherite cost for crafting Valkyr from one to two. Also, kind of expected. This isn't like making ingots. It's actually, it's the... Um, like, costs inside of the forge. So if we go over here, it'll say netherite ingot 2 instead of 1, like before. Which makes sense. What's Dreamstone? Dreamstone is found rarely in gilded chests, I believe? Um, and before, it was only used for to make the Eye of Avarice, which made safe zone modifiers on a crystal and then exhausts the crystal. But now it's used for Mystical Powder, which is how you infuse Vault Catalyst. Which I guess is kind of a better use for it, because... You know, this already affected Catalyst, and now it affects Catalyst even more so. Gotta restart him to fix one or two things around the Bounty Rewards. I'll see if I can run through the patch list really quick before we do that. Uh, added sound to the Crystal Decoration blocks. Cool. Adjusted ore POIs to have random ores instead of sand, gravel, stone, and andersite in the places. So that should be even more valuable than they were before. Choice slots now require an empty flask instead of glass that was already mentioned. Uh, update a recipe for Vein Miner Choice Flask. Okay. Now here's the one that we were, uh, well, actually not yet, but fix scavenger submission alters not being included in the hunter objective target list. Good fix. Fix some mods not being configured in the mod box reward list. Pepe laugh, golden apples. I'm assuming that there will probably still be one that slips through the cracks. Not to say that the devs aren't doing a good job, but it's how I've known mod boxes to be since the beginning of season two. Maybe they got it right, but set myself up for preparation. Uh, fix the bug affecting the cost increase for the group looting wrongly. It was increased by 0.5 instead of the intended 2.0. Again, I owe a VIP to that one guy. Who also very kindly uh, clipped both the original statement of that and then me admitting that I was wrong. Understandable. Uh, players have either had the knowledge removed and the lower price refunded or paid the additional price in advance before the patch. I think the latter is referring to me. Fixed Vault axes, axes and Swords still being usable as tools. I don't believe you. Fixed Vault here not being repairable. Fixed Strength not being accounted for on a client-side stat screen. Fixed Piglets ignoring player armor when wearing gold armor. Where was the person who said that this wasn't going to be a thing to begin with? Uh, fixed Target Dummies being locked behind research. Fixed Scavenger Vault goals count. Fixed Scavenger Vault's goal count not scaling with player level. So this was... Uh, what Iskel was mentioning to me beforehand about like, hey, by the way, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're still getting level zero scabs, essentially. Um, fix the bug that allowed mobs to spawn on auxiliary blocks, glass, and gelatin blocks. God bless the spawner that I built. Fix vault down block not being breakable. Further lower chances of a drown spawning in with a trident at level 10. And fix the client side desync showing mobs sometimes wearing gear or equipment. They're not wearing server side. All right, so bounty costs a loom, five chromatic iron, a block of netherite, and two vault essence. Okay, that should be a relatively easy craft. Bounty table! All right, where are we putting this damn thing? I had a chest here. Oh, you know what I could actually do? No, it's a full block. Hmm. I think I'm going to move the chest under here. Let's see, maybe that'll be better. So throw that down there really quick, and I'll throw the chesticle 
back down there with those. Let's take a look at the bounty table. I want to see what's in this. What's the bounty table got for us? Oh. Bounty selection, active, available, and complete. Item discovery, item discovery. Find 15 red scroll in the vault. Rewards, 1300 experience, 11 vault alloys? And vault ingots? Find 12 zombie hide in the vault. Three ores of regrets? That's busted. Six skill essence, level 27 scrappy plus boots, and eight vault ingredients? And find 17 rip page in the vault? 11 alloys? 11 vault ingots? Scrappy plus 27? 45, 45 chromatic iron? So there's scav, so the uh, three are available. They're all item discovery. Scav based. Um... What is Red Scroll? Red Scroll's in a rare? Zombie Hide is a rare as well, I think? And Red Page is a common. Chad, I know it's from Gilded. I'm talking about the rarity. I don't know where you get him from. Dude, I don't know. Can we do three at once? Oh my god, wait, we can. Wait. Oh no, we can't. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. So you can have one, so you can abandon it. And I am discovery all. And then is there a, an indication anywhere that I, no. Okay. So there's not, there's no like visual indication. That's kind of nice, I guess, maybe. Okay. So 17 rip page in the vault. Okay. Uh, we'll get into belts in a little bit, but I think Let's run down a little bit of a, uh, run down a little bit of a scav, possibly? Maybe it would make sense to make belts before we go into the vault, because, like, what if we don't get a scav and then just running around looking for stuff? Yeah, because I know we got the bounty, but, like, see if maybe we could do a little bit of belt upgrading. A little bit of some belt grades. Uh, these are already, hmm. I don't know if I need my refill boy to be a belt, but I definitely think it would be nice to at least get the vault filter boy as a belt. Let's take the vault crystal out of here. Let's grab these out. Thank you. And I think the filter and everything. I don't know if they'll be saved or not, but I guess we'll find out. Unlock belts. Yeah, because we already got belts unlocked and we paid the price for our knowledge. So we are evened out completely now. We're completely evened out. So let's see. Let's see what we need. So an actual belt costs two double pouches. A vault diamond, two vault essence, extraordinary Laramar, and magic silk block. Okay. And then the upgrades that the belts gives is the third tier stack upgrade, advanced pickup upgrade, and then the filter upgrade, deposit upgrade, and restock upgrade. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't really want to get into this right now. We'll maybe set up some stuff and think about it at some point, but I think for right now, I'm just going to upgrade my, uh, I think I'm going to upgrade my pouches, my double pouches to be a belt and see kind of what things are looking like there. Because I at least want to get the Vault Filter Boy upgraded. Because when we've ran scavs, double chest worth, two scavs, or two uh, shulkers, not really enough, unfortunately. Not really enough. So we need, what, two of the double pouches, Vault Diamond Extraordinary, Lair Mar, Vault Essence. Okay, cool. So I should just be able to, because these both don't have anything. Put the Vault Filter Boy and the Vanilla Boy in there, and we'll use both those for crafting. Do we have everything we need? What's the bottom thing that we don't need? We don't have the Silk Block. Okay. All right, so I got all filters. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I didn't take the filters out of the... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hold on. Or my... Or my vanilla boy. I didn't take the filters out of these. Ooh. Not sure if it would even allow me to craft with the filters in, but I forgot to take it out of those, though. Where is the magic silk block? Thank you. How much silk do we have? We should have a ton from... Yeah, we, like, we've got a fair bit because we've been breaking chests now. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, so, loot belt, bang, and then, pouch. Vault, boy, vault, pickup boy, vault filter boy, there you go. You and the vanilla boy. Oh, it keeps the color. Oh, it keeps the color of the first one. Still in the pouch? What? 
What the hell? Keeps the color of the first one. That's cool. Hmm, okay. Bang! How big are you? A folder three? Oh, that's quite nice. Okay. So it's one and a half pouches. Neat. All right. So advanced pickup upgrade, stack upgrade, tier... That's the tier ones that we're rocking with right now. Just the tier ones, just the tier ones. Double up on those. Advanced pickup site. Oh my god, it saves it from the item itself. All oh, the data, man. I love it. Still three slots? Only three slots? Yeah, three slots. Slot one, slot two, th slot... Shut up, shit! Yeah, three additional slots. Can you not, can you not see? So that is, uh, that is much, much nicer. And then we'll want to upgrade the vanilla boy as well, too. So let me make a pouch very quickly. Now, wait a minute. I can't make a bundle. Do I have a bundle at the moment? Oh my god, I do! How many bundles do I have, actually? I have three! Oh my god, I can't prepare it. We're actually fine. We're saved. Okay, good. Alright, regular one of you. Good. Ouch. Double pouch. Oh, we need two of those. Okay, so regular pouch again. Need more Laramar. I have 491 of you. That's quite nice. Do the shift click thing. That was funny when you did that. You should do it again. That was really nice. That was really fun. Regular pouch. Good. Double pouches. Double pouch. Bang. Oh, I see. And then, wait a minute. Might just little block. Good. Go. Do that. Bang. And perfect. Alright. So, little belt job. Already have one on the top left save, but here I am being a fool. One more magic silk block. Thank you. Am I lacking anything else? I don't believe so. French vanilla boy and the double pouch. Going in for the loot belt. Okay. Very cool. And we probably don't need to die you for anything. Yeah, so you're good to kick as you are. And so we want to put the pickup upgrade and stack upgrade tier 1s on you. And we'll have it to blocks. Same thing as filter before. Awesome. Move you around. And then again, the refill boy. I guess it's good for spare, but I don't think I need to make this into a belt right now. Let's run it up. Let's have some fun. Give me a scab, baby. Give me those red pages. Come on. Scabs are please, I beg you. Yes! There is no way in hell I'm completing this vault. Oh, we're going west. Okay. I forgot that, uh, yeah, so, hey, first vault with, according to Iskal, properly scaling, um, properly scaling objectives. Oh, and here's the, uh, new... Vault POIs. A little bit of Ashium right there. So it doesn't have, like, gravel and dirt anymore. But yeah, um... <laughs> Here's properly scaled... Objective. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're idling for a little bit before they do anything. Okay. Not sure I even picked up a single rip page, but uh, I'm curious to see what's going to happen when I leave the vault and go back to check on that. Interesting. <laughs> My streamer's an alpha tester. Yeah, that's... That's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm curious if that's just a visual bug, or if I actually did complete it. No idea. We'll find out at some point soon, maybe. Did you pick up the rip pages? I don't believe that I had broken a single chest at that point. I think that I had, um... I think I broke two or POIs. <laughs> I don't think there was a single rip page or, for that matter, anything from a uh, chest in my inventory at that point. There's still snow in those POIs. 
by durability. Different bounty? I only activated one. You can only activate one bounty at a time, to my knowledge, because I wasn't able to activate multiple. But yeah, I definitely only activated one bounty. Also, that did not look like I broke that thing, but apparently I did. Ow, can you stop? I'm getting frozen back here? Oh, there's the damage I was waiting on today. Hey, guys. Appreciate you. Oh, that's a cool little POI. That's neat. What's POI stand for? Point of interest. Any section that has, like, uh, ores or a chest inside of a room, pretty much. This girl had a skill essence collection bounty completed without a string of faults. <laughs> it's okay, guys. Guys, I just won't claim my bounty until I get 17 pages, and then everything... Everything will be fine. I think I got one of the new, uh, blank. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's a rare, that's an epic item from there. Damn. This dude figure skating. This dude figure skating inside of a vault. Stop sprint jumping, it really bothers me with speed too. I barely ever sprint jump, brother. Am I running most of the time, though? Do I really do it that much? say that but you don't notice it I will try and be better hello loving chest dangling over this guy hmm so mind you not only are we, are we in here testing out the the new objective Omega eye we're also testing the new AI for when mobs spawn, how they take a little bit to do anything. They kind of just idle for a second and then start attacking you. So far, it seems like I'm basically just getting a free hit off at the beginning of every spawn. I don't know. I'm thinking about it a little bit, just kind of seeing how I like it. Happy Thanksgiving, Shatter. Hope you have a great one. Thanks for uh, wishing me well. I think if anything, even though it might make POIs a little bit easier, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing by any means, It'll probably save you... Oh, you definitely just aggro immediately. It'll probably save you a good bit of, uh... Like, just horde damage that you get from, like, going into a POI and getting hit by, like, three mobs at once. Man, can you, like, stop at me? Alright, it's the skeleton bone shards taken care of. The goblets are... An interesting one. Oh, brr. Oh, God. It's so cold. Oh, God. It's so cold. Ouch. Is there an Omega dude down there? We got an Elite Boy somewhere? Ouch. Jeez. 
So those have more ores in them now, like more vault ores in them now because, uh, yeah, the gravel and stuff got removed. That's interesting. I guess some still have a little bit of... Nope, that's definitely an insight in a POI. <laughs> I've been lied to. I've been straight up uh, bamboozled. From where? Okay. Have fun with that. Everything's sizzling around me, man. Where are the POIs? Where are they spawning? Found him. Jeez, where'd you come from? Having to dig down under the water so much to find these POIs, man. I gotta stay like above the, the bottom layer. So he was just trying to sell me something out. Was straight up went up and killed him. Am I the bad guy? Wait. Uh oh. What do I need from coin piles? Absolutely nothing. Still gonna grab him anyway. More coins for the beach. I do. I do gotta make sure that I keep my finances up. Can't build if I'm broke. Why did this look- why does this look like an Omega room? <laughs> why do I see three pain out up there? Oh my god. Like the style of, uh... Oh, do I have a Soul Hunter on? I do. The style of the room made it look like it was a peaceful, non-challenge room. I got kind of excited. <laughs> Ooh, that single swing non-crit damage is crazy. Because it's green? Well, yeah, I mean... Oh my god, four P night! I mean, yeah, that's the reason why, like, the green kind of made me think that, but I don't know, I just didn't see, like, too many immediate dangers, and I was like, oh man, I'm free. I don't know how much zombie hide we have. I don't know about the black mob essence either. We have been killing a fair few, uh, skeletons, though, to be fair. Black opal, thank you very much. God, that swing damage is crazy. I don't know when I'm going to, but I really do miss, uh, shoot. Oh, Jesus, slime. I really do miss the, like, 100% uh, crit chance that I think I had from, uh, oh my god. From season two. I know it costs, like, a full ten skill points to get up to that point. But I don't know, man. Like, not having to jump to crit. That'd be really nice with this kind of damage. Like, look at that, man. One shot and everything. You got a new sword? I did. 25.5 damage base. Well, not base, but like with a modifier. Like that's just the 25.5 damage sword. 
I should be saying. Nothing to do with the base. The base value is 19, and there's a, uh... Yeah, it's this. Or 25 damage, not 25.5. Where? Underneath? That's definitely underneath. You like swords more now? Well, yeah, because axes kind of suck at the moment. I haven't talked to, uh, Hellfire or Scale or anyone else about it, really, but, like, axes just do not have a an increased enough damage to them to make up for the, uh, Slow swing speed. A tier 2 axe has a max damage of 22, whereas a sword has a max of 20. Like, it is literally not high enough to lose out on, like, 0.6 swing speed. So axes definitely need a little bit more buff and a love, otherwise right now swords are just genuinely the better item. And it sucks because axes... From what I could remember, we're better in Season 2. That's why the first thing that I did with, like, getting my proficiency up was try and level up axes. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be, like, an axe main, and that's gonna be, like, my main weapon, and I wanna make sure I can get some really good axes for a later game, so I wanna build it up immediately. But at the moment, they're kind of pointless. Also, with the way that smaller mobs hit you, like baby zombies and spiders or whatever, that slow swing speed, just, like, missing them straight up is nearly more punishing because of the very very tiny hitboxes so yeah i'd like to see axes get a little bit of a better treatment than they have right now does the gear rework seem to swing too hard towards swords no the Unless you're talking about just Season 3 in general, there hasn't been any rework on weapons. There's been a rework on gear. Or armor, I should specify, not gear. Weapon. A weapon is a piece of gear. I like how rare Echo is because player gems are pretty damn common. So it's nice that we still have one like super, super rare, uh, damn. One super, super rare or to get excited about. I mean, player gems are still nice to get excited about. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. Hey, stop doing that. It's a Gorgonite Hunter, I guess. I really have found more Gorgonite than literally any other gem in the game. Cosmetic Polar Bears. Yeah, I ain't so sure about this scav here. Game's calling you gorgeous? Also, I haven't really been looking for a drop-off point. What the... Some elevation in this room. It offered a little bit. Red scroll? We need a goblet. Not an easy find by any means. Don't think we're getting that one today. Can you locate the altar with Hunter? Uh, probably. They did fix that. Or at least they said it was fixed in the notes, so... Man! <laughs> I 
many rare pages do you have right now? I'm not gonna check right now. I wonder if... Nah, I doubt it. Oh. Village room. No! A vendor room! Gorgeous jewel. Three gold. That is for... That is a good one. That is a good one. That's the shoveling one. Very nice. What other offers do we have? I'm excited! Let me see some good loot! What the? Chairs? According to almost every single MCYT stream I've ever been in, that would probably be the viewer's favorite room to be go to. Uh, man, as much as I would want to do that, my legs are way too good right now to be spending money on others. I feel like that would be just a disservice. Not buying it. One goal for not buying it. I got my legs. They're way too nice. I also got backup legs with a legendary modifier. Not worth the pull. Don't think so. Even if it had a higher armor value with the update today, it's not... Still no. It's so cheap. Doesn't matter, you gotta have self-restraint. The grass ain't always greener on the other side. Mm. How many, uh... Got two gold? How many rip pages do we have in total? 21 red pages! And a wooden chest scroll. Oh, the empty flask looks really cool. How much bronze have we gotten? 124. Got a gold and a half. Nah, man. Nah, man. I don't think so. Now, the gorgeous jewel for three gold. Um... Four black opal, basically, for three gold. I'm not in the market right now. I'm not, in the, I'm not in the market. I appreciate the offers, guys. I really do, but I'm not in the market. I got a nice pick that's got two repair slots on it. I'm all right. Why do you hold on to scab items you don't need? I mean, no point throwing them out. kind of waste time if I, you know, don't have to throw them out and they just stay in my inventory and get vanished later. But I feel better when I spend money. Guys. It's better to be a coomer than a consumer, alright? Number one rule of Twitch. Is that a hearty apple? Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. I just don't want to go all the way down. I, I, I'm just going to be completely honest. I don't want to go all the way down and break that. Ow. All right, I'm looting these uh, last couple of chests and I'm evacing out. I got to get out of here, man. I got to go home. Jesus. I could, uh, take another second or two. Bro, I really want to get a, uh, an infrastructure set up so I can loot these better. I want to build, like, a really heavy, uh, oh my god. I want to build, like, a really, really good reach build. Like a pickaxe with really heavy reach. So that we can do this room by, like, towering up to safety. And not have to worry about mobs knocking us off. Sure that's the most efficient strat? I mean, I don't know. It's a nice little bit of gold. Hey, why spend gold when you can just get more? More beach rocks. Let's go. We do have to uh, skedaddle, skadoodle, or noodle a little bit, though. But I think with pearling and the fact that we're like probably only like two and a half rooms off, we're probably fine. Pickering not work anymore? Nope. <laughs> we already We already had our pickering fun. 
That was uh, very promptly passed. The Pickerang does not break uh, gold piles or vault ores anymore. Because, I mean, with the Pickerang and us just staying up top there in safety, we were able to net, like, what was it, 37 gold off of two dragon rooms? It's just a little broken. Out the kitchen caboodle. True. Hey, where's my Omega room? Next to spawn that I didn't find. I already found one Omega. I feel so... Sound like I'm ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful. I'm just trying to kick around a little bit. Can you please put the pages in the inventory before going out? We want to see if I can detect it inv only or not. Pages into inventory. You got it. Any new Omega rooms? Did not find the new Omega room. I pray to God that if someone else finds it, my chat doesn't spoil it. Might sauce up a... Might take some of my vacation days and extend that to the chatter who does that. Alright, so that seems to have overfilled. Okay, so the belt is not enough for that. Let's take the pages. 26. Ah! Plus 8. Alright. Why is that just a normal vault? <laughs> 0.5 experience modifier, 4,500 vault experience. Still ain't bad, you know, it would have been 9,000, because I guess we had the, uh, we had the crystal room and a couple of POIs that had some player gems. Or some player ores. Because, yeah, we got what? Uh, yeah, 1,400 experience from chess, 2,100 from mine blocks, and then nearly 1,000 from mobs on alive. Okay, understandable. 6 omega, 11 epic. 117 looted, 9 trapped. Yeah, breaking chests is crazy, man. Polar bears are worth a lot. Damn. Yeah, polar bears are a little, uh, a little pricey. Okay, so the pages just got taken away. Let's, so... Yeah. Okay, so these aren't working at all at the moment. Bug report time! Will be a scav! A completable one at that! Or a kill boss? A kill boss for Obelisk! It's looking pretty good for the believers if we're able to take on a fight. Alright, so what direction are we going? We're going south. South facing vault? Nope. Sounds good, server. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, I can one-shot ghosts. I love life. Bring on mega rooms to distract them. I don't need distraction. I have regular common POIs to do that, clearly. What the hell? Wait. I see you up there. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who repaired an anvil? <laughs> oh god, false thinks it was me. <laughs> That's such like a passive, like, 
Okay. Um. Thanks. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> It wasn't me, I'm just spreading the love of the clang. Jesus Christ. Ah, get out of my inventory. Ah. You know what, Zane? I'll take the blame for you out of the day, brother. I got your back. How many ornations am I gonna find here, dude? The one tap's amazing? Oh, I know. I love it right now. Thank you, loyal cultist of the clang. Just doing my part. Have you ever spoken to false before? Yeah, we've teamed on MCC a good few times. Good handful of times. Yeah, we like won at some point, you know, that was, that was like, that was pretty cool. Dungeon or receipt of POI? I don't know, but it, there's a lot of things happening in front of me. Jesus Christ, what is going on? I gotta see past the death particles, man! Oh. Cool. Yeah, I mean, the rivals, like, uh, you know. Days like that happen. It's not a big of a deal, really. I'm stupid, I literally watched MCC 17. I mean, that's understandable. MCC 17 was two years ago. One year ago, I'm to see 10 was two years ago. Oh, chat. Never change. What's down here? One of those, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Oh. I was definitely trapped. Yeah, let me just dance around some mobs real fast. Dude, the passive regen trinket, whenever anybody unlocks that, that's going to be crazy for uh, mana conservation. Seventeen sixty three was two hundred fifty nine years ago. Dude, stop, man. Stop making me feel old. What the hell was that? Being like belts yet? Yep, we're rocking two of them. We got dull pouch on our back, we got two belts in our inventory. Alright, so we're heading north out of here. So they buff the living chest because they look the same. Well, I have gotten a uh, party apple from a living chest, so that's indication of some kind of buff. Otherwise, they do look relatively similar. Tomatoes are buff too. No, I don't think tomatoes are buff. I think it's just the level that I'm at. I don't think that has anything to do with the buff. Is that two vault diamonds? Damn. I could be wrong though, but just. Where did, what happened to the ghost? Bro, did the drown spawn in and the, yeet the ghost off like 10 blocks into the wall? <laughs> oh my god, the one shotting is crazy. No, the ghost is at the wall. It was there, but it's like not at the same spot as before. I don't know. The ghost around. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm like, huh. Hey, big man. I kind of want to fight you, melee. Oh my god! I just served that guy for dinner, medium rare!
Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. What is this dude doing? Does he know how to play the game? Mob delay is a nice buff for Pete. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, one shot sword in the new mob delay feels real nice. Flask? I did get an empty flask there. They look pretty cool. I like the texture of them. Is that my exit out of this vault? Should I be inclined to take it? Whoa. Healing cloud, thank you. Exit out of vault? Yes, it would be. Still got 10 minutes, so I'm not really interested in leaving quite yet. Did we loot a dig site or not yet? Are you talking about the rune that I got? I haven't applied that to a crystal yet. I also don't know whether or not uh, the color on it indicates that it's an omega. Yeah, I haven't used that yet. This is the last Elvish area. Is that better live for earlier boss kill? No, thankfully. Yeah, I really like the idea that, uh... You don't just get rewarded for leaving a vault sooner. It's a really, really nice change, in my opinion. Brings a little bit more incentive into the idea that Iskal was trying to throw around of, like, a... Completing the objective while it is like the final goal is not meant to be all that you do in a vault. You're meant to spend time there and loot and be thorough about it. Not just get in and leave if you immediately can. Now granted, we've done that for- excuse me. Granted, we've done that for like some uh, scavengers, right? Because it feels nice to just complete it immediately. When you've already looted for like a good bit, but yeah, like right now, I'm not taking any penalty just going around looking for some more chests before defeating the boss. Damn, so cocky. Watch your picture ability pleading. <laughs> watch the please watch the picture ability, sir. What upgrades does the pickaxe have? It's got shoveling, axing, and quick. Quick giving it a 25% faster dig speed. It's a really, really nice pick. And apparently getting three... Apparently getting three uh, modifier slots, sockets, on a vault pickaxe, specifically, is like an 11 or 12% chance of that succeeding. So... We're going to be repairing this thing up twice and rocking it for the foreseeable bit. This guy went AFK and portal prank. My brother in Christ, I am literally in a vault.
When you're done, I mean. How long do you expect him to be AFK for? This guy strikes me as the kind of guy to eat his fiber. I don't think he'll be gone for very long. Maybe I love this weapon. Alright, one more room and then we uh, head back to be the boss. What the frick is he doing? Three rooms back. You plan to stream for more than five hours? I'd hope so. This guy's still AFK when we get out of the volume. Should go mess with them. No, I'm good. Thanks for the dollar, though. Is it this room? I ran the objective hunter and it didn't show in here. Was it this room, though? Where was the... Where was it? Is it one further down? Where? What the fuck? Is it high up? It was lower down, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? Use hunt. I have been using Hunter! What the fuck? Yeah, I must have passed the room and just completely- Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, I gotta regain. We're good, like I'm near home, I'm just being a little silly guy right now. Doubters win? Not on, not on my life. No shot in the dark. I'm letting the doubters win. You guys can stay coping. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot that, uh, right. All right. Did I give the doubters a sliver of hope? That'd be the worst thing in the world if I did. Let me loot! <laughs> 5,700 experience. 10k damage, 150 damage received, 174 mobs and alive.
Very nice. 147 total chests looted. That is impressive. It's like the speed at which we're able to do that. 1400 for the elite round, 8 for the boogeyman. 107 zombies, 16 rays, 37 vault dwellers, 7 skeletons. 174 mobs and 147 chests. Only six of them trapped because they lowered it from 10% to 5% for traps. 28, pretty nice. The elvish air is going to be gone. Uh, we might as well do this now. So this has one use left of it. I don't know what happens if um, you break a charm, if you get a scrap from it. But I don't really want to find that out. So I'm curious if it throws into the vault recycler if I just get a trinket scrap. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of good. That's kind of good gameplay design. <laughs> they figured it out! Recycler may be bugged as well right now. Bug for Iskel as well, not working for anything. Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe that maybe 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 because I was gonna say, like, any devs watching? The percentage of uses left from when the trinket was given to you to have that percent chance of getting a scrap when you throw it into the recycler honestly isn't that bad of an idea to not make it so you can just have infinite scrap with minus one use i'm just saying like i'm gonna stop talking clearly that's not that's a terrible idea oh i want to see how fast the uh speed upgrades are on this yo how quick are you oh that's pretty good maybe it'd be worth it doing a stack upgrade instead of a speed upgrade as the fourth one because the stack upgrade is oh That's cheaper now, is it not? That's significantly cheaper. I'm pretty sure. Uh, hey, can I just make one of those right now really fast to see what it's like? Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh, my bad. I'm sorry. A stack upgrade literally means a stack at a time. Don't know what I expect. <laughs> like, I I don't know. What is this stack upgrade? I figured, like, I don't know what I figured. I figured, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, a saw. I, I don't know what I figured. I just didn't expect it to be, like, a full stack. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's nice. Run me up. No trinket. No trinket. What we get from that? 30 vault nuggets, 2 regret chunks, 25 plating, 53... Jesus, 50... That's a lot of shmeat. 2 memory shards, unidentified relic, 60 vault bronze, 8 diamonds, 8 vault alloys. That ain't bad. Uh, 17 carbon, 5 scale essence, 4 raw mats, and 14 driftwood. Common sword, common shield. Don't know if I'm looking for a better shield, but... The game really wants to give me a better sword. Buff loot. It looks better, does it not? Like, the quantity of things, like, looks better. I already have a pickaxe head. Damn it, man. It's fine. Go with shield first, actually. It would need to be real good to replace what we currently got. And that is nowhere even close. Now, the sword, on the other hand. Curious about this one. Nineteen point five damage, one point six eight attack speed, one prefix, two suffix. It's pitching to be better. It's pitching to be better. Oh. Now here's the thing. Chaining's nice, don't get me wrong. But, I've been really liking the one-shotting. Chaining hasn't really been that big of an issue for me. So I don't know if I'm willing to give up 5.5 attack damage just for chaining. Uh, I'm rerolling this. Because 
built in fatal strike is it really interesting? But only 5%, 1 out of 20 hits, and I'm one-shotting everything at the moment anyway? I don't know. So I'm not looking for a new sword, and it's definitely not going to be a common. I'm definitely- I'm not looking for a new sword, and it's definitely not going to be a common, boy. Same thing with the shield. The recycler's not working, I'm putting them away for right now. We got our stuff, I'm, I'm content with what I have at the moment. Alright. Please be scav. Yes! It's actually not that bad, either. Okay, as much as I want to complete this, I'm here to... Oh. Oh, this could be really good. Wait a minute, this is really nice. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's literally a portal room. I can see it at the surface. <laughs> Never mind, that was not a portal room. However... Good news still prevails. Oh! <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Has this dude ever speed ran before? <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck that happened. I don't know how I did that. All right, man. I'm killing the. I'm killing those guys at the very least. That was kind of funky how that worked. Oh, is that a creeper eye that I just got? No, I don't think so, right? No, I think it was just a hunter's eye. Wait, it was? Oh my god, wait. That's really good. Those are the Omega items. Hey, we need we need the good items for the uh, the scab filtering. So you know what? Hey, sauce me up. Pretty smooth little transition over. Not gonna lie. Oh, the epic one as well too. Oh my god. Hey, we're getting the things we need, but we're also you know like. Kind of working to complete this. Now, mind you, the sack from Ornate's gonna take a little bit. That was gonna take a little bit of loving to try and obtain. There's a part of me that, just for the sake of the backpack organization, I don't want to, like, put in any filters into anything until I have every tier of rarity so it can be like all of them in a row because otherwise like it's just going to be like here's two of the you know what I mean oh my god the fall damage wait fuck <laughs> This is not good. Red scroll. We do need uh, red scrolls. Crack scripts, maybe? I'm looking for- oh my god, I hate fall damage. Wait, I've gotten used to something that I can't stay with permanently. I've gotten used to something. And it's not used to me! Damn. That one was kind of a little bit too real. Trap doors? Yeah, I should have gone to the trap door, sure. That's pretty true. I did miss the trap door. I looked at the trap door, but for some reason it looked like there wouldn't be anything behind it, which is probably just like me being stupid. Hmm. 
Mamma mia. The rider detached. What the hell, dude? Line them up. Do you remember the Transformers mod from Crazy Craft? Holy shit, how many living chests am I gonna get this run? I've never felt more alive. Okay, man. Gotta go Thanksgiving peace. Have a good Thanksgiving. And for everybody. I hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We got a drop-off point, just like four something rooms off from, uh, west off from spawn. Hell yeah. Don't care what's behind that wall. Don't care. Okay. Interesting little wombo combo of a POI. You're gonna make me care about it if you keep showing me ores that I need to mine. Money break gilded but not living because the living requires a hoe. And I don't fuck with no hoes. I was thinking about bringing like an efficiency five hoe into the vaults though, just in case we get those rooms. 
So uh, just do a little vein mine action on him. Whoop! Not really like super prioritizing the scav at the moment, which is definitely not a great thing. Um, do we have? We've only got one of those. Yeah. I'm kind of just like looting every chest that I find at the moment, like the regular chests. I think I should definitely be prioritizing the scav at this stage. Maybe also get the kill altar done as well. Hey, come on over. What the hell is that, man? I'm not playing the scab. I'm addicted to breaking regular chests. I need help. Someone's got to help me, man. It's bad. I'm not PTFOing, dude. Did you get this mega damage sword the other day? It's 25 damage and we have strength too. It's a pretty, pretty beefy boy. We need some gildeds and some more nates. I have not been playing the scav. I don't think I'm going to be able to complete it. I'm still not. Oh, no, man. Leave me alone. You have two scrolls. I do have two scrolls. You're actually right. I do know need ornates. Good call. But Gildas would still be nice. Maybe get that Omega item for the filter. Oh, that's really good. And the Spider Soul Charm. Wait, what's the Omega item for, uh, for Gildeds?
All the earrings. Yeah, you're right. Surely there's earrings in this. Door's not key. Oh, damn. There's a part of me I was hoping this guy would be the first one to open a treasure room. I want to see what kind of loot's in there. Mr. Streamer, you know what? Respectfully, fuck you. But like, understandable, but also fuck you. What do you need to open the treasure room? You need the key of the corresponding door. So every treasure room has a different door. There's nine of them. And to make the key for the door, you need a cluster, which is eight of that gem and one perfect black opal. And then to make a key mold, you need four black opal, or four uh, echo. That was a shitty POI. Damn. Why two chests? So they're expensive, and we haven't been able to make one because we've been lacking Echo. We only have three Echo to our name. They found all the scav items? No. I need to take some time to organize the ones that I do have before I go, just to set up the filter for the backpack. Yeah, I haven't found any sacks, I don't believe. The key is consumable? Yep. One key, one use. Let's hope that the uh, loot in there is balanced a little better than, <laughs> than altar chests. One could pray. But damn, the dip in my analytic viewership is going to look like I just ran a fucking two minute ad break. <laughs> I mean, like, shit, I'd be, I'd be watching right now, too, if I wasn't in the middle of a run. Let's let Iskel find out first. Okay, I mean, it's not like that. <laughs> it ain't like that. Why are there two? Why is this a minus six minute room with literally nothing else? Why are there two time alters in this room? Wendar wants your love? Wendar can shove it. In fact, I'm not playing favorites. Every idol in here can shove it. We demand better loot. We deserve better pay. Ow.
Here I am, the Gorge Knight Hunter. Clearly. Dude! Wait, what? What loot is there behind that? Good one. Okay. Can we see if you try and organize the scav items outside of the vault? I'm headed back to do... Well, there's the fourth mine room, uh, one every day. <laughs> hey, Pete, was just off watching Iskal, uh, you know, check out a treasure room. Loot was pretty good. Uh, you find anything in your vault, uh, during the six minutes when I was gone? Oh my god, man. I can hoard for a little bit. I'm right next to the exit. Traveling the same direction as it, so. I can leave with like a minute left, honestly. Guys, I think he's not gonna care about the scaff. <laughs> Guys, I don't- I don't think he's gonna be organizing his scav chest. Lemons? Oh. I already found the echo of the room. I don't know if I'm using lemons now. Bro, should I use the lemons that I have? Like... I am literally next. You guys dead ass think it's a good investment with like the lemons that I have to start. Ah! Like really? Saving them anyway? Yeah, you're literally not wrong. You're actually, like, incredibly not wrong. Only two at a time. When else will you- that's a good point. You know what? Hey, hey, that's been our motto of the season! Why save a bunch of shit if I'm not gonna use it? Use it and have fun with it! You know what I mean? And like, yeah, okay, like, I I'm kind of house poor at the moment, but it, it doesn't matter! It's the experience! That matters. That might also be what people say before they go to casinos to gamble money that they shouldn't be. But I, I wouldn't know. In this specific instance, it's fine, surely. I really don't want to risk, like, too much- what the cobble? I really don't want to risk, like, too much of that because we have two Echo, like... I know I'm, like, nearby the exit. Nah, I'm close to the exit. I can- I can get out. I have... I know where I am. Counter arguments a game, fucking send it. Also, extremely valid. Is that how we feeling good? 
But it's about time and everything. Like, we feel, we're feeling pretty strong right now. Check one more end over here. Take too long to get over there. All right, I'm out. Of that room. Oh my god, was it literally- <laughs> I'm fine, you know what? I, I, I spent a little bit of lemons, it's fine. That's fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, I know it was like, right there, because I could tell from the compass direction, but like... Oh, that's good. Oh, that's great. I don't care about my sca uh, scab stuff, I'll organize it another time, it's fine. Like, we, we got plenty of runs that happen there, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I should've... It's fine, whatever, I, I didn't care at that point, but I, I don't care. Nice. 2300 from chest, fed 200 from mine blocks, 700 from mobs unalive. Daily, literally the daily mine room, <laughs> once a day. The once a day mine room. 1960 experience from wooden chests, 1960 from living chests, my god. 155 chests. What do we got? 36 coin piles, one bombing night, 35 panite ore, 4 upaline, 32 alexandrite, 33 benetite, 1 pizza night, 4 sparkle team. Three Ashium, four Escalium, one Gorgonite, one under a stack of Laramar, two Tubium, four Black Opal, two Xenium, nine Wooded Eye, and two Echo Ore. Oh my god! Oh man. Oh my god, two Echo's so hot right now, dude. How's it look? Oh! Holy shit! Oh my god! Better than zero! <laughs> Five to one. Hundred seventy seven from a hundred something ores. Not super gated. I mean the guy is obviously, you know, that's gonna take a bit, but the astrolabe still exists. Which is really nice. Bro, can you believe the, the five echo? From one or dude, if I had moments, that was, that was a moment right there. You can have it build like a square of like three by three, five by five, all the way up to fifteen by fifteen. Enter a mine, we did hit our daily mine room, yes. 22 or more. That looked pretty good. 23? 23 off 11 ores, that's good, that's good, that's a good return. It's not a bad shout to be honest with you. 9 Escalium. Oh, that looked hot until the last one. 19, good return. 7 gorge tonight. That looked really good. 25 from 7! 
Holy shit! Five up lane. Nine up lane. Okay, fair, fair. Five sparkle scene. Nine sparkle scene. Okay. Nine Ashium. Twelve Ashium. Nice. I, I needed a good bit of Ashium. Three Xenium. Ten Xenium. It's good. Four Pizza Night. Ten Pizza Night. Jesus. Okay. Four Subium. I. There's the balance. There's the balance. And four Bombing Night. Ten Bombing Night. But Subium balanced out literally everything else. <laughs> also, I am so sorry. <laughs> Can't be docked. Never much of the raffle. That surely, surely the sword will be good this time. Surely I'll get an upgrade that I don't actually really need. 4.3. Sick. Why is the. Oh, the sword professor is treating me well tonight. What is this tier one garbage? What are these tier ones? Do I look like a tier one? Addict? Shut up. You are literally hurting my feelings right now. Thank God that bumped up by 1.5% or I might have cried. That would, that would have been the thing that pushed me over. God, I don't want to look at it. I just want to bask in this one moment that for the first time in my life, something that I crafted has not been a scrappy. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Let me try and do some work. Let me try and let me try and work on it a little bit. Because what's the, like, natural difference right now? 64.5 compared to 53... Okay, yeah, it's pretty bad, like, right now. But, like, yeah, we can... I, I can I can fix her. Those predictions are really nice. 58.5 compared to 64.5. Still not good enough, though. Because 11% increased damage right now isn't, like, super insane. What are you doing that for, Oh, my God. Do I see tier 2, 7 to 12? 7 attack damage with a low roll? 76 damage! Oh, man! That's not bad. Yeah, but also can't wait for 12 damage, though. I kind of want Soul Chance on it, to be honest. Like, Soul Chance... I don't know. I haven't really bought a lot from the Soul Shop. We can go higher. That's actually something holy is real nice. Uh, oh, two volumes now, okay. That's tier one, okay. How much is that compared to, uh, just curious? 61.5 compared to 64.5. Interesting, okay. Because it's not trying to attack me as well, too. Max holy. <laughs> Yo, any reason Kalink is useless for change? I'm gonna be fucking broke! I'm learning a little bit about how uh, rare it actually is to get a really, really good, like, sword roll. Fuck! I'm not broke, I'm literally not broke, I'm literally not broke. Holy shit! No, no, it's not the crafting potential. The only relates to the cost of the rerolls, nothing else related to the modifiers that you get. That was clarified by health after a little bit of misunderstanding for me. Oh my god, it was worth it! Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. What else you got for me? Okay. Okay. That's some damage. Nothing ain't leaving anytime soon. What's, what what is the DPS? What is the DPS on you? 73.3. Holy shit. Now mind you that the um the other sword I think might have uh holy might have been a factor in it. It also might have been the attack speed as well, too. 
Holy is nice, don't get me wrong, but the really nice thing about just having base damage is that it affects any mob, not just, you know. So that, shading attack, that's, that's good. Oh my, that's so good. So we're improving from a 25 damage sword to a 27 damage with two chaining. I'll run down one more raffle if you guys want to get in. Uh, your raffles now, it'll bleed over into tomorrow's stream. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna kick it back and I'm gonna do a little bit of thinking about what we're gonna be doing for, uh... Being our Mercer. You're in the gladiator arena. I'm gonna do a little bit of thinking about what I want to do for the base in terms of, like, design and making it look better. And I might honestly, like, just hop on here and stay on here for a bit and do some, like, off-camera building. Because... Yeah, I, I usually, I don't know. The thing with me in building is that sometimes I can do it on camera, but other times I just want to be like watching a stream and start building for like 30 minutes and then eat food and take two hours to do nothing and then resume it. So it's like, I don't know. Thankfully, Vault Hunters has significantly more content outside of that that allows me to stream for 10 hours every single day. But yeah, I want, the, the basic is, it's kind of like a three-step well, it's like a four-step program, pretty much, with the way that I've found success so far. is like, expand the island so you have room to build farms. Build a farm so you can get resources and fill up the island. Make the farm look good so it's not just sitting there. I haven't done step three yet. And then repeat that process over again. Yo, me bro, see you in the uh, gladiator arena in like five seconds. Please don't ask me to raid anybody. Thank you. Thank you for the Paradigm G introvert. I don't know what I would do without it. I, uh, didn't know I needed it. But, now that I have it, I don't know what I'd do without it. 64% poison avoidance. That's the first time I've seen that. Y'all seen that before? Poison avoidance? Huh. No? Interesting. Pretty cool. 25 armor, Jesus Christ. Like, goddamn, goddamn, so many options. Give me the boots. 100% holy, poison cloud, armor. We got shield, 11% block chance. No thank you, boss. Just because I barely ever rock, uh... Oh, my. Oh. My. God. 18% block chance, 10 armor, mana. Such and such. That axe looks fantastic. That is a heavy damage deal as well, too. Jesus. 30% block chance? Alright. Nearly fully equipped. Uh, equipped. Oh, dude, I love the chest plate. What the hell? Model Witch? Oh my god. Bro, it looks so good. Oh, dude, I love the fact that it, like, covers over your hand as well, too. You're actually properly wearing it. I don't know how they do that, but it looks great. I dead ass like I have no idea how they're doing some of this stuff, man. Like the over your over your sleeve type deal. All the UI stuff and things that they do, man. It's awesome. I ain't kiting anybody today. Fight me. Fight me right now. I ain't wasting anybody's time. God damn, okay. Y'all gotta move, man! Try again! This way, there was absolutely no reason you deserve to get disrespected as much as you did like that, but I had a great time doing it. Four hearts? I know. <laughs> I barely did any damage. <laughs> 
And a champion crate that still has not been messed with yet. Okay, well, yeah. Hey, uh, listen, I appreciate you guys a lot. Thanks for the support throughout the stream. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, however you may be spending it. If you are spending it with family, if you're spending it with relatives or friends, or for that matter, if you're spending it alone, like I will be this year. Uh, hey, you know what? Sometimes that just happens, and it's not someone to, you know, like, feel shitty about. Sometimes you gotta give thanks to yourself. You're just being alone, fuck it. Jam out on the holiday how you want to. So yeah, um, appreciate y'all. A lot. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all around uh, at another time.